Welcome everyone to another episode of the Average Desi Joe bringing you tips, tricks and reviews and today I'm going to be talking about the Bamboo Labs P1S printer and again just like my other video my first video was about the overview second one was about all the pros of owning one well this video is all about the cons of owning one and things that I just don't like so please like and subscribe and check out my other videos so let's get started with it first of all this is a big piece of machinery right when you think about a 3d printer i think bamboo labs has that the a1 mini and then the a1 the the newer one that they're coming out which is a lot smaller less bulkier these things are 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 big it is heavy especially with the ams system uh and you don't have to buy it and honestly i i would recommend if you're just starting out you don't need to spend another 300 bucks on this just buy this i think it's about 600 bucks um, around that much and you have to get the warranty on it because uh, you know that's my other pet peeve is returning this thing is a big big pain it's a painful exercise i mean just bringing this into the house you need at least two people to carry it it is heavy uh, and to carry it back uh, because here's the here's the kicker they do not even like if you buy it from a store they want you they want it returned in the original box now just taking this out of the original box is a pain putting it back in is quite a painful process so you know those are kind of like my two pet peeves uh, is one it is a big piece of machinery it is heavy uh, bringing it home it was quite a painful exercise uh, uh, I, I honestly you need at least two people to carry the box if you if, if possible and then the return policy i mean it's just absolutely one thing i don't like about bamboo labs is it's more of an online store it's like a startup thing um you know if there's something wrong you have to email them message them uh there's no there's no store to go to and there's no store to return this to which is is quite bothersome because you know this kind of uh, new technology it's very hard to understand they've tried to make it a little transparent you can get to a lot of different pieces but it's still it's still not not as simple as some of the other things out there that you know you could basically diy diy uh, why and 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 fix it yourself i mean it does take a lot of youtube videos hopefully i'm making these videos for folks like uh, you that you know just to help you understand how how this thing works but anyway so those that's kind of like to my two two big things uh you know the other thing is it literally when you print this when you start printing this the surprising thing was this thing is loud uh it is it's almost like a washing machine uh maybe not as loud as a washing machine but it's quite similar um uh, which is a little surprising uh i actually tried some one of their the newer printer the i think is the a1 uh, not the mini the regular version and that one was a lot more quieter even though it didn't have a box which was a little surprising to me because if you think about it there this this thing it, it there is a there is a there it, it comes in an enclosed box that's what it's it's good for um and yet when it prints it makes a lot of noise so it is loud um you know when you run it at night there is like and if it's not in your base if it's unless it's in the basement or somewhere uh, in an enclosed space uh this will make a lot of noise uh which is which is quite uh, quite interesting uh the other few things uh i have to say those are the, some of my pet peeves they're quite related and they're related to the, just the, the setup of this thing you know they've tried to make it slick they've tried to make it all like high quality put the you know try to enclose it in a box um but it is so hard to get to some of the pieces in here i mean just to fix this thing if the pla gets stuck just to get your hands in trying to pull this out yes you can take the top off right and you can go in there but then it's like pretty dark that's why i actually have a lamp here uh, and it's one of those lamps that kind of you move around because i it's so dark in there like you have to literally put a lamp in there to figure out like how to kind of put you need basically a light uh so you better have a flashlight or something that you know that 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 push that may helps you see it otherwise um uh, you know it's it's a very very difficult process uh because the screws are really tiny um and uh, I, and it's it's very very it's a, it's an arduous process um when the pla gets stuck and that's my other thing i've i've this has been a very frustrating printer for me um the number of times the pla has gotten stuck uh is is incredible it's literally it's become an almost like a 
uh, you know, every other day occurrence. Uh, and it's always like either in the extruder or it's somewhere, somewhere around there. And, and it just takes a while to unscrew it. And I'm sure you've seen my other videos on how to unscrew it and everything that I've learned. It's, it is, uh, it is a very, very frustrating process. So for me, like, you know, the whole PLA, uh, getting stuck, uh, trying to figure out how to open this printer, all this, the extruder, uh, all the tiny screws, trying to put all of that together, and then just getting into it, uh, you know, put, get, grabbing like, you know, the, 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 the pieces that you need. Um, it, it's, it's, I don't know how the X1S is, which is like the more higher version. Uh, it's about, you know, I think it's 1100 bucks. So it's a lot more expensive than this, but that's also kind of an enclosed box. I don't know how people have, uh, you know, what they've experienced with this, but with the P1S, that's been like one of my biggest, biggest pain points is just the PLA getting stuck and trying to get it out. Uh, it is a really, really ridiculous process. Uh, it takes more time every time it gets stuck. And I'm like, oh my God, it's like, you know, another frustrating piece of, you know, a waste of time. Uh, because it does take a lot of time and effort to figure it out. Now, the other thing that I don't like about 3D printers, and I mean, this got nothing to do with Bamboo Labs, or, but it seems like it's happening across it, is just the wastage uh, of this PLA or this plastic. And if you see, I mean, I've, I've owned this thing for about, um, I think about a couple of months, we've printed out a few things. But if I, if I show you the amount of wastage that happens, I mean, this is just waste. Uh, either bad prints or like you know these are just samples that it it runs every time it prints so we're wasting a lot of i feel like a lot of plastic and you know it's not really 100 percent recyclable um, nobody even knows if it is or not i've heard like various theories on online on google so uh, again uh, just something that i'm not a big fan of i actually told my daughter not to print as much because there is a lot of, of wastage that's going on uh, so there are the good things and these are some of the bad things uh, and you know one, one other thing that you know when I talk about uh, uh, return returns now make sure this is the number one thing you keep the original box that this thing came in because the store or bamboo labs will not return this if there's a recall if there's a return of there's something broken here if they couldn't fix anything they will want to put it in a box and send it back now you can't it's really hard to find a box that will match this so you have to keep this big bulky box in your house and i just face i just experienced that you know they, i bought a printer and there was a recall on it and i had to return it and i went to the store and they said no we want it in the original box so i had to go find my original box glad so glad i had it dumped it in there which took a while to figure out how to put all this is in and then I had to return it. And then to carry this thing is, is obviously, like I mentioned, it is a very painful exercise. So, you know, you, you've seen my other video where I talk about all the pros of it. Well, this, these are all the cons. These are like all the pet peeves. And sometimes like these pet peeves actually outweigh some of the pros, uh, especially the, the, you know, just trying to un, un, uh, unjam this printer. It just takes too long. It's, it's it's a quite of a painful exercise and sometimes you know like you put it back and you're like did i put it back all right or not or or is there something missing because it's not working and then you have to like redo the whole thing uh basically start from uh, scratch and go back follow your steps make sure you've taken every little print pla out of there uh, and once that's done then you can you can move along so you know you, so when you're uh when, when you're printing make sure that the 3d imprints are actually authentic the, the reviews are good on it before you send it to the printer because sometimes though if the prints aren't right you know it it might cause issues here so you know so that's kind of like my overview all the you know the bad parts about owning a bamboo i mean again like overall great great product uh but yes there are a lot, a lot of ifs and buts on like you know the the issues that i faced uh and these are, you know, um, be, I've owned this for about two months. Actually, something is stuck right now. So I've actually, I've, I need some time to unhook everything and figure out where the PLA is stuck. Uh, but anyways, so hopefully uh, you enjoyed uh, this this commentary and please like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, and, and comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on this uh, Bamboo Labs P1S printer. Thanks.